What's up YouTube? This is going to be a vlog style uh, video and I just want to give some updates. On the base I sold the SE 4 hub wheels that I had, these here, and I sold those to a guy named Grant and his buddy Joey and I sold those for 40 bucks, you know just a little extra cash. Uh, they took those wheels because they're buying an S13 Vert and to take the wheels off the guy was selling they were getting $1,500 off which is is the damn good deal I think. The SE, the clean car, I'm gonna sell that maybe I could use some money with that to help fund the build on this. But I have put uh, some BC Racing BR coilovers on, ISR camper, a tow and the upper links in the rear, Nismo rear lower control arm, all all the Injuku is the Pro Series, tension rod, new tie rods with the end links. Um, I didn't get any lower control arms or anything like that. I'm not sure if I'm going to want a wide angle. I bought an NRG short hub. I bought an NRG quick release and a Momo steering wheel I really like. With the base is it doesn't come with a rear sway bar. I have a whole load of parts uh, as you can see here. I plan on tackling this project uh, as smart as I can. I'm not going to take all the interior out, take the engine apart, rip it down to the bare metal, and take two years to get it built. I'm going to try to keep this on the road as much as possible and get it built. First thing I attacked was the suspension. When I was living in Japan, uh, when we first started driving, there was three things that we needed. It was coils, diff, and seat. I want to set it up for success as much as possible. I don't understand how people can build 15, 20, $30,000 cars and run with a welded diff. It makes no sense to me. I have the coils, I'm getting diff, getting seat. I have those three, I should be able to at least start drifting. Uh, I don't know how long this engine will work, 285,000 miles on it. It may blow up the first time or it, it may hold strong. It still, still pulls strong now. Some other plans, wheels and stuff like that. Uh, but for now, I think these uh, Z32s are probably good rear burners. I'm not going to rip the interior out. Uh, I'm leaving full interior. I mean, sure, I understand why people want to do it and because race car. But I mean, you pull the interior out, you lose what, 20, 30 pounds on a piece of shit engine anyways. You drop in a, a 1J or 2J or you have an RB, then you have enough power you could leave leave it in there anyways. I mean, if you're driving it on the street, for me, I don't see why you need to take everything out. Now, I usually take out the back bottom seat because when you're driving to an event, I usually put the, you know, some spare drift tires in the back and I didn't want to mess up the back seat. I still uh, have AC, I still have heat, and no matter what I plan to do with the car, as far as engine swap, I want to have heat, heat and AC. Uh, if there comes a time where it's a you know purpose-built drift car for drifting only, then yeah, I'll consider taking that stuff out. I need my creature comforts now. That pretty much is what I plan to do with uh, the SE and the base. A whole bunch of boxes that I plan on opening up for you in the next video. Please don't forget to subscribe. Uh, I'm using this more as a you know a record of something that I did later on. Um, the last car I built in Japan, uh, there wasn't YouTube and it was just pictures and it was fun but I mean to have video, you know, step by step kind of things you're doing, uh, I, I think it's really cool. And everybody out there making, you know, drift videos, 240 videos, car videos, uh, I appreciate it because I like watching those too. Peace.